So Olympic Valley is one of my favorite neighborhoods here in the Tahoe Basin, primarily because I love skiing at Palisades Tahoe. This neighborhood is very eclectic and you wouldn't imagine it because it seems pretty small, but there are over 15 subdivisions just within the valley here. And most of the homes were built in the late 1950s as they were inspired for, with the 1960 Olympic Games coming. But you'll, so, you'll still see some of those original homes in the area, but over the years, you'll also find that people have done some fantastic remodeling or have completely torn them down. As you'll see here, one of the downsides of some of the home sites in Squaw Valley is there's some incredible driving and steep roads throughout the valley. So that's one of the things to consider. Just make sure you get four wheel drive, four wheel drive car and have your snow tires on in the winter. But it's all worth it because a lot of these homes have amazing views of the mountain. And as we're doing this ski in and ski out uh, topic, what has made all of Olympic Valley Ski and Ski Out is now the Mountaineer. So literally just like Uber, this is a free service. You can just hit this button on your phone and the shuttle will show up, take you wherever you want in the valley and drop, you, drop it off. And it's a great thing with families with kids, especially kids on the ski team, um, because they can actually order it up on their phone and, uh, and take it home. You know, if you wanna leave early from the ski, ski hill or stay skiing, then they can make it home on their own. Here I am, I just came off the slopes and we are at the village of Palisades Tahoe. So one of the things to consider while you're deciding what kind of ski in, ski out property do I want? Well, do you want something that's like this? It's a little more hotel-like, lock and walk, and then just rent it out when you're not using it. Look how easy this is. Uh, from coming down from the slopes, there's actually swimming pools, underground parking. It's super easy and convenient. Or do you want actually a cabin or a house up on the side of the mountain where you'll take the mountaineer to the hill? So you kind of have to think about, do I want to be in with all the people here in the activity? Or do I want something more quiet and secluded? 